Using your hand, gently encourage your head over to the right hand side. Don't press or force, just allow the neck to lengthen and the shoulders to drop away from the ears. Inhale, come back up to center and exhale, encourage the head over to the opposite side. Keeping the shoulders down away from the ears and again, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale back to center and then exhale, reach the left arm overhead, putting a little bend in the right elbow, breathing into the left rib cage and taking the gaze upward. Maintaining both sit bones connected to the mat. Inhale back up to center and exhale, extend the right arm overhead. Length through the spine, drawing the crown of the head upwards. And again, putting a little bend in the left elbow. Inhale back to center. And then exhale, reach the left arm over the right knee, reaching forward and allowing the chest to draw down to wherever feels naturally accessible to you. Nothing forced, nothing pressured, and again, maintaining both sit bones on the mat. Inhale, come back up to center and exhale, take a twist, taking the right hand to the left knee and drawing the shoulders round, taking the gaze behind you, the left hand sitting just behind your sit bones. Breathing deeply. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, repeat this on the opposite side. Right hand reaches over left knee. And keep lengthening through the spine, drawing forward without lifting the sit bones up. So keeping in that seated position. Inhale back up to center and exhale, take a twist. Left hand comes to right knee. Shoulders rotating towards the right hand side of the room. Breathing deeply, sitting up nice and tall. And then exhale, come back to center. Sweeping the legs round, we're gonna come up onto the knees. Drop the right hand down, extend the left leg and reach the top arm up and over. Feeling a nice stretch into the left hand side of the body. Keep the hips pressing forward, so don't allow them to drop back and keep the whole sole of the foot connected to the mat with that left foot, toes pointing forward. Inhale, draw back to center. Exhale, repeat this on the opposite side. Breathing into that top rib cage, pressing the hips forward, lengthening along the side body. Inhale back to center and turn yourself around to come into a tabletop position. Knees underneath hips, wrists underneath shoulders. Inhale, extend the right arm up to the sky. And breathe deeply. Breathe into the chest area, really expanding the shoulders in opposite directions and then exhale, dive the top arm underneath the bottom and thread the shoulder down, taking it to the mat. You can use that left hand to press into the floor and rotate the left shoulder a little bit further back, bringing it on top of the right shoulder. Inhale, take the arm back up. Exhale, back to tabletop. Inhale, extend the left arm up. Hold it here. Breathing deeply across the chest, sending the shoulders in opposite directions as you reach the fingertips up towards the sky and then exhale. Dive the left hand underneath the right arm. And again, press into the mat and draw the top shoulder back over the bottom. Inhale, come back to center. Extend the right arm, extend the left leg. And then exhale, draw the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend out. 
exhale, contract, elbow to knee. Each time you contract, draw the navel in towards your spine, really engaging the core. As you reach out, really reach fingertips and foot in opposite directions. And breathe in deeply. Place the hand and knee back down. Inhale. Extend the opposite arm and leg. Again, rounding down through the spine as you come elbow to knee and really extending out as you inhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Exhale, place the hands and the knee back down, tuck the toes and just hover the knees off the mat. Drawing in the core tightly and keeping the shoulders over the wrists. And then gently press back into downward facing dog, keeping the knees with a deep bend. And then hover them back towards the mat. Exhale, press the floor away from you, shining the armpits onto the mat. Drop them back down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop the knees all the way down to the mat. And then exhale, start to walk the hands away from you, lowering the chest towards the mat, shining the armpits downwards. Extending the arms straight out in front of you. So try not to let the elbows creep out to the side of the mat. You can allow the forehead to come to the mat or take the gaze forward if you would like a more intense stretch across the chest. Hips stay above knees. And hold it here, breathing deeply. Inhale, walk the hands back up to tabletop position and then tuck the toes, lift the hips, pressing all the way back into downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, check in with the hamstrings, see if there's any tension or tightness. If there is, or any pain, then just put that bend back into the knees as we did before. Inhale, take the gaze between your hands, step or walk your feet to the top of your mat, and then forward fold. Bend the knees if you need to, or the legs can stay straight. Cross the right leg over the left, and exhale, forward fold. Coming into a nice stretch for the hamstrings and the IT band. Keeping the left leg straight, or if you want to, put a little bend in it to ease if there's any tension in that hamstring. Use your breath to breathe into any areas of tension or tightness. Inhale, come back up, uncross the legs and take the cross the other way. Exhale, forward fold. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, take the arms all the way up and exhale, hands to press. 